Good morning. <coughs> Already we have finished uh, talking about uh, the Indian history. We have completed and even the civics also we have uh, uh, completed. So now we are uh, getting into the new concept. So that is uh, contemporary world. So when we talk this contemporary world, this concept, uh, we will be coming across the uh, three major topics so we will be uh, talking so one is uh, the first world war and second world war fascism nazism and uno and agencies of uno so these are the concepts which we talk under this um, uh, concept called contemporary world so let us start with the first and foremost topic of the contemporary world so that will be the first world war as you all know in the universe, in the globe, we are having uh, two world wars which took place in different durations or different period. Like 1914 to 1918, the first world war. Then 1940 to 19, uh, I mean, uh, 45, so we are having a second world war. Between that, the fascism, Nazism formation, so we are having it. Actually, it's a very big lesson. A very vast, uh, I mean, topic where uh, very interesting things, uh, I mean, we were supposed to go through it. But since the syllabus has been reduced for you this year, only we are talking about uh, the two concepts under this particular, uh, I mean, concept. One is causes and another one is results. We are not talking about course of the war. And even causes, when we say, there are many causes for the First World War. Okay. But we are talking only here four major causes like nationalism, imperialism, division of Europe and Sarjivo crisis. So like this, uh, four major causes. So we are talking in this particular uh, uh, chapter, remaining causes and all it's not there for your this year syllabus. And next class we will be studying about the results of the, I mean, first world war. Then we will get into the second world war. So when I talk about the lesson, the first world war, which started in 19, uh, I mean, uh, 14, uh, to start the first world war, and uh, there are many reasons, many, I mean, uh, the causes, so which we are having it. So in that, to start the first world war in 1914, okay, 1914, the here are some of the causes. Okay, in that first cause we are having, that is called nationalism. Usually, nationalism means what? I mean, we already talked in the history. A fail of oneness. Okay, fail of oneness towards what? Towards a one nation. A person who is having a fail of towards one nation. So, when you say one nation, here comes many aspects comes. Like political, social, economic. I mean, like social lifestyle, economic lifestyle, political lifestyle. Okay, so all this comes here. Okay, in the same way, to start the first world war, the nationalism was the one of the major cause for the start of first world war. Okay, how nationalism becomes the cause, that is one nation, concept of one nation becomes the several, uh, I mean, I mean one of the cause for the first start of the first world war. Why one nation concept of nationalism becomes the cause, if we see, you know, many countries were under the control of an, uh, British, like a colonial rule was there. Once when America became an independent, America is the first independent country, okay, so which took place uh, 1773, they started, you might have studied in American Revolution, 81 American Revolution ends, then 80. Uh, 4 or 83, the America becomes uh, one of the independent country. So, 4th July. Okay. So, America becomes the independent concept of one nation started. From there, French becomes one nation. Like that, one by one, one by one, uh, the nation started to become a uh, one nation. A concept of independence, a concept of nationalism started to spread. Okay. Finally, the concept of nationalism, one nation becomes the... Uh, I mean, uh, cause. So, if you see here, exist of aggressive nationalism. What is this aggressive nationalism? Okay, nationalism, okay. 
ill towards one country, love towards one country is okay. But what is this aggressive nationalism? Aggressive, if you see. Okay, it says invasion love and interest for one's own country. Okay, you are having interest towards your own country, abundant love and interest towards your country. At the same time, you hate other countries. That's nothing but aggressive nationalism. That aggressive nationalism, loving their own country and hating other country, so that started to take place in the European countries. That's the reason nationalism becomes the one cause. Okay. When we love all, uh, all country in an equal manner, we will would have called just nationalism. But then when, I, when a country started to hate one another country, it became an aggressive nationalism, which becomes the cause for the First World War. Second thing, if you see, exist of economic competition. Why this aggressive nationalism started to exist in the European country? Because of economic competition. Because of economic competition, I started to hate other country. Okay. Cutthroat of commercial ambition. My country should be called as an, a superior and superiority in economy. Financially, my country should be good. Okay. That cutthroat of feel which the European nations had made an aggressive nationalism. And next one, if you see, International tension and the problem across the world, across the entire European countries, international tension. Anytime, any situation and without knowing the different countries, the country may be attacked. Okay, so that international tension for the superiority, okay, for the superiority started to take place. Okay, so that's how. The aggressive nationalism, the concept of nationalism is the, one of the first and foremost cause for the First World War. Second one, if you see imperialism. What is this imperialism? It's all like, it's a national policy. Imperialism is a national policy actually. It's a national, a foreign policy it is. Okay, uh, practiced by an uh, European nations, especially like uh, Japan, uh, Japan, was a one of the country and many European the countries okay they started to practice this okay imperialism concept a foreign policy what is this foreign policy if you see when a strong nation takes over a weaker nation it's nothing but you have two character a strong nation takes care of or takes over weaker nation or region dominates they implement one power, that is power is dominant, where economic, okay, the economic, political and cultural, is three. Three domination starts up by a strong nation towards weaker nation, that's nothing but imperialism. Now, India, dominated by British, so that is the reason our country was called colonial country for British. So, like that, many countries were taken by the strong nations and they were started to dominate the countries. How long the domination can be tolerated? One or other day it has to burst. So like that only, many European countries, when they were dominating the weaker nations, so they started to get burst, which made the concept of imperialism as a one reason for the, I mean, uh, first war of Indian independence. Okay, that's the one aspect, so which we are having it. And next, uh, if we see, one so that is a division of Europe okay the Europe was divided into two groups so that's I go here but before that you can see here uh, the why what is the reason for the division of these two groups like triple lines and triple end okay what is the reason for uh, uh, Europe to be divided into two separate groups for the first world or if you see one is I mean French okay the French had a desire for a revenge against Germany so in that case you know Germany and French they are opposite okay why French had a desire why they want to take revenge against Germany if you see it's only because of Alaska and Lorena 
okay so alaska and Lo lorena it's a imperial border territories actually which was under the control of french okay france was i mean french was keeping under their control okay so this particular place as alaska and lorena which was under the control of germany basically that belongs to french okay basically it belongs to france okay so that is the reason they wanted that alaska and lorena that particular place okay alaska and lorena this place they wanted to get back by the french for that purpose they wanted to have a revenge which made division of europe then austria and russia both had eye on balkan states balkan states like markons okay markon there many balkan states okay trading centers this austria and russia they had completely especially this uh, balkan state like serbia one of the particular place okay so this made this two major reasons made different intention of austria and russia different intention of french and germany made the uh, europe to be divided into two separate groups so in that triple alliance that was erg stands for germany eh stands for austria hungary and i stands for italy these three groups three different countries they became one separate groups which were called as triple alliance triple means three alliance means they have certain conditions or demands like when uh, austria fight against russia remaining two nations they have to support austria that's germany and italy so like that they have their own alliance system to against them the triple anti that is er e stands for an uh, england okay that's basically british r stands for russia f stands for france okay this three made together one alliance so like this europe got divided into two different groups with these two groups division and because of this three division only the first of all later on many nations joined later on many nations joined the nations who all did not like uh, england russia france they joined with the above nation so who all did not take triple alliance they have joined with the triple alliance so like that <coughs> formation of alliance started and actually it was started by bismarck bismarck is a person who started this uh, alliance system tying with the two to two or three different nation for one intention or to help mutual help actually it was started by bismarck first okay so that was may so like this keeping several causes so many re uh, reasons makes the first world war to take up but we will go straight away to the 1914 one incident one cause which we call it as an sarjevo crisis which is called as an immediate cause for the i mean first war of in, i mean first uh, world war okay first world wars cause to begin the first world war what is the sergio crisis if you see so here i have given the archduke i mean francis fernand actually he is a king he is an austrian king he was okay so austrian kings assassinated at sergio in bosnia okay sergio in sergio it's a place which comes in bosnia that is in serbia there is a town i mean uh, bosnia so on the way to bosnia there is a place called uh, sergio so there this uh, francis fernand the austrian throne was assassinated shot to death not only the austrian throne even the king a uh, princess and even a child all three were when they were coming through a vehicle so that vehicle was attacked in sergio and on 28 june 1940 so they were killed there all three entire the family why they came to serbia because in serbia they celebrated saint vitus day it's actually serbia's national festival since serbia was under the control of austria so any festivals has to be celebrated the king has to be invited so like that king that is francis fernand to take part in this national festival so he had come or on the way to serbia so he was assassinated on 28 june 1940 now when he was assassinated will the austria keeps is a king king was killed by so they started to inquire who might have killed so when they started to come they assassin the person who killed was that is 
a 19 year old boy, a Bosania student, who was called, I mean, Garileo Princip. Okay. He was a person who assassinated, or who was assassin to the death of Francis Fernand. Now, Austrian, Austria came to know the person who was killed. Okay, he is a person who is killed and he belongs to a place called Serbia. Now, what the Austria should do? It? Now, only Austria should have two ways. One is to declare war against Serbia or the second way is to have a compromise with the Serbia. Okay, now Austria when they came to know Serbia was responsible for a murder. So, in order to make, you know, if they make war or if they make a fight against Serbia, the person who one who was killed, he will not come alive. He may not come alive. So that is the reason. So Austria, not to take a revenge against uh, the death of Francis Fernand, they came out with a, I mean, send an ultimatum. That is certain demands to an uh, Serbia. To give some uh, demands to an uh, Serbia. But Serbia refused. Okay, Serbia has to give so much, uh, I mean, money, so much income to them. All these things were there. Finally, there was a last demand, so which was called as Serbia has to surrender completely to an uh, Austria, which Serbia did not like. Serbia wanted to be an uh, independent state than to be under the control of Austria. So since it refused to some of the condition, so Austria declared a war against uh, Serbia. Okay, when Austria declared a war against Serbia, okay, so Austria when it declared a war against Serbia, so there came a person to help. Who is that? So that person was in Germany. When Germany came to help, Russia came and started to give support to Serbia. So like this, in order to help two nations, different different nations joins together. Finally, in 1914, it turned into a world war. <coughs> so that's how the Sarajevo crisis becomes the one of the major cause for the, I mean, first uh, world war in 1940. So next class we will see. So the war took place for uh, so many years. Finally, how the war got end. So that and all we will see it in the next class. So till here you can uh, go through it. So next class we will go with the conclusion of the uh, lesson. So that is first world war. Thank you.